Greetings from the Nerd Bar. What's up everyone? So I am here at the Nerd Bar. I feel like I haven't been here at this location, specifically behind the Nerd Bar, in what seems like months. This place is a disaster right now because we are in the midst of packing up for our big move to Big D. We are moving to Dallas, Texas in exactly one month. It is uh, still... There's 13 minutes left in the day for May 29th. We are actually moving June 29th down to Dallas and uh, we will be Texans the first week in July. So I actually have quite a bit of stuff to show you here, quite a bit of stuff that I've been accumulating, but let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm gonna actually show you also what this nerd bar currently, what this nerd cave looks like, what the uh, inner sanctum looks like. I'll do that a little bit later in the video. Uh, I also have some P.O. Box pickups. I have a uh, party box from Ma. Yes, from Ma herself, the uh, the star of the, uh, the new Blumhouse Pictures film, Ma. She sent me a party box, so uh, we're gonna unbox that towards the end of the video. But right now, let me show you this stuff right here. I've got some Joe. I got quite a bit of Joes. I got a lot of Joes. Uh, that's one of the things that I've been really, really kind of heavily collecting and into is Joes, specifically Club Joes, the FSS subscription GI Joe Club exclusive figures. I'll show you which ones I picked up there. Uh, I got one Transformer, one Lonely Transformer right there. I got some Star Wars stuff, a few Star Wars things. Then I got a new Hot Toys figure right there. Uh, so I know this won't be the last video from the Nerd Bar. I actually am picking up, I think, one, possibly, possibly two Hot Toys at the end of this week from Comics to Games. They're getting a few that I've been waiting for. So hopefully I can get uh, one, possibly two. But uh, you'll see that right here from the frickin' empty-ass Nerd Bar. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. Here's what I got. I'm going to start with the Joes. Bam! Look at that. Holy frick! That's a lot of Joes right there. So I have picked up, I think I've picked up most of these from uh, the toy department in Fairfield, Ohio. Free plug for toy department right there. Those guys are awesome. Uh, and a couple of these I got from, I think I got from Big Bad. Uh, but I don't remember. Ooh, here's one more. Uh, so let me start with this guy. I got this guy at toy department. This is frickin' Keel Hall. For those that do not know, this is the guy right here. That was the, uh, what do you call it, a pilot? Uh, what's the guy that drives a boat? <laughs> I can't think right now. It's 11.40, it's 11.50 in the evening right now. I uh, drove all the way from Columbus. I've been in Columbus the last two days. What's the guy that freaking drives a boat? Is that a pilot? Anyway, let's see if it says on the back here. That's too many words. That's too many frickin' words to read right now. Anyway, he was the guy that uh, came with the USS Flag. That big, frickin' awesome, huge, mungus ship. Aircraft carrier. Back in the 80s. And uh, Keel Hall, Admiral Keel Hall, was the guy that came with that, uh, that uh, USS Flag. So, this is the modern version, the subscription version, FSS. Uh, the pricey frickin' version right here, but I got this one from Toy Department. The rest of these, in this ridiculousness right here, I believe these are all Tiger Force. For those of you that are not extremely familiar with G.I. Joe, there were a couple subgroups in G.I. Joe, and that always fascinated me. The fact that there was the Renegades, there was the Marauders, Slaughter's Marauders, and then Tiger Force, freaking awesome. I liked subgroups within G.I. Joe. I always thought that was the coolest idea. And I picked up a bunch of freaking Tiger Force figures. These are all, these are all subscription FSS 
G.I. Joe Club exclusive figures. Let me just run through these guys. So first and foremost, I, I think I got this one at Big Bad. Did I? I think so. I don't freaking Amazon? Good Lord, ladies and gentlemen. I don't freaking remember. Where... Amazon, I think. Uh, he was available in the 40-ish range, I think. But uh, this is Tiger Force Shipwreck. Sailor. Look at him. Comes with a freaking parrot. Awesome. Just beautiful. I am probably not going to take these off card. I think they just look beautiful on card. And uh, I put them in these uh, star cases and they just, they stand up. You can display them like this. These are freaking gorgeous. I love, 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 love the old G.I. Joe card art. So just displaying them like this is perfection to me. Uh, this right here is Psych Out. This is the Tiger Force Psych Out. I missed out on the first version of Psych Out that the uh, G.I. Joe subscription service did. So this was cool that I got this version, the Tiger Force version, so he's freaking cool. This guy's a badass, Tunnel Rat. So this is the Tiger Force Tunnel Rat right there. Look at that card art. Oh, it's so awesome. Childhood right there. Just freaking pure childhood right there uh this is blizzard i never got the original blizzard when i was a kid uh and this is the second version in the subscription the fss that they did for blizzard they did one in his normal white arctic attire this is the tiger force version uh all yellow pp snow yellow right there that is the ugliest <laughs> that is the ugliest cold weather outfit that you can wear but uh he's awesome that's what makes it even better is the fact that that is ugly as sin but he's in the freaking tiger force he is a badass for being in tiger force uh this one right here is hit and run the original version of hit and run you couldn't even see his face because he's literally all green green face paint uh so this was cool because you actually see what Hit and run kind of looks like, without all that green face paint on. I actually like this one more than the uh, all green version. Tiger Force hit and run. And then we got two more, two more Tiger Force figures. Again, these are all G.I. Joe subscription figures. This is Tiger Force. Uh, they call him Radiation Trooper, but that's airtight. That is Tiger Force airtight. Someone just flushed the toilet. I don't know if that's coming through on the audio, but someone just flushed the toilet upstairs. Who is using the toilet at six till midnight? And then last, but certainly not least, this right here. I missed out again, just like, uh, who was the other one that I missed out on? Uh, oh, Psych Out. The, I missed out on Sneak Peek, the first version that uh, FSS did. I missed out on the original Sneak Peek, but I got the Tiger Force version. So this is a... Uh, Little reconnaissance soldier right here, sneak peek. He kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, he kind of looks like Clark Gregg, Agent Coulson. In a way, maybe, maybe I'm off. Kind of looks like Agent Coulson to me. But there you go. So that is uh, a butt ton of G.I. Joes right there. Tiger Force. I also picked up a Grail. Uh, this is uh, one of the very first club figures that came out. He is ridiculous uh, price-wise, and I finally got him. I'm also going to show you another one that I picked up a few weeks ago. I don't think I ever showed you guys this one in a video, so I'm going to show you both of them. If I showed you the other one previously, I apologize, but here he is again. Uh, so here's the new one. Everybody freaking cut. Footloose. So I got Footloose here. Um, I You probably remember that I got the Slaughter's Marauders version. And I think I said in that video that I got the Slaughter's Marauders version. A, because I like Slaughter's Marauders. But B, because I didn't think that I was ever going to find or acquire this regular club version. This thing goes for a lot of money. Like $150, $175, $200 dollars for a 3 and 3 quarter inch figure. So that tells you kind of how pricey he is. But uh, I picked him up at Toy Department. He looks amazing. His helmet comes off. He's got a freaking badass mustache. He's a freaking ginger. And just a freaking butt kicker. Right there. So there is Footloose. Comes with a little rocket launcher. He's awesome. This is a freaking awesome 
<laughs> you can't see right now. There we go. That's better. So there's Footloose. I picked up Footloose. Uh, he was complete. I got his file card. And then I got uh, some other little accessories too. Little missiles, missiles right there. And then he has a little handgun right there. And he's got a little machete right there. So he was complete. He looks great. I'm so happy to add him to the collection. So that was the second grail that I picked up. The first grail that I picked up, but this was another one that I didn't think I was ever gonna get, but I picked him up. He's dial tone. So this is the club exclusive dial tone. He's another pricey one. He runs about the same as this one right here, like 175, 225 range. Just disgusting for a three and three quarter inch figure. But uh, he was a grail for me. He was one that I wanted and I got him and he has a freaking awesome mustache too. So mustache gang right here. Mustache gang dial tone and footloose. Let's get to the other stuff that I picked up because I do want to show you this one out of package. I'm going to do a super quick showcase. Not going to show you articulation or anything like that, but I want to show you this guy right here out of package. But first, I finally got this Optimus Prime. He hasn't dropped in price yet. He's still 50 bucks. But I wanted him. I wanted him. And you know, if you're a collector, sometimes you overpay for stuff. I know that 50 bucks is retail and technically I didn't overpay, but I still think that that's too much for this figure, but I still wanted it and I still got it. And I got one in a good condition. I was afraid that if it dropped down in price, it would be for, not for a little while. And then I would be stuck with a crappy card version. So I got a nice minty box. He looks great. I'm probably gonna leave him in box until it does hopefully drop in value. And then I'll probably buy another one and then I'll keep that one. I'll take that one out of box, keep that one on my shelf. Just gorgeous though. Just frick, I mean, look at this. Look at this. This right here is what dreams are made of if you were a kid in the 80s. So I got Optimus Prime. I got some. They're falling down on me right now. I got some Star Wars figures. So first things first, I found these guys just chilling in the freaking men's clothing section near the dad stuff, like dad gifts. I'm a dad, so I bought myself a gift at Target. These were at Target. These are the retro collection Star Wars. These are awesome. Reliving my childhood in my 40s. How great is that? How great is the year 2019 right now? So here are the two that I found. I found Han Solo Retro Collection. And there is the back of the card. A lot of words. A freaking butt ton of words. Some not even in English. Right there. Atencial. Um, but I got Han. I got good old Han. Big head Han. And then I got Stormtrooper. So, I am currently looking for the rest of these, but they are sold the F out at like every Target within a 100 mile radius of me. So, I guess I'm gonna have to hopefully pray that they restock at any of the Targets near me because I'm really, really wanting the rest of the ones in this first wave. Definitely want Luke, definitely want Chewie, uh, Leia, and Darth. And then I picked up a couple more of these vintage collection figures. Where did I get this one? Ah, I got this one at Target too. So this is, I think this is a Target exclusive, Han Solo in Trash Compactor, or Han Solo in Stormtrooper gear. Um, the card art is Trash Compactor, but he doesn't have any like gook or grime on his uh, Stormtrooper uh, armor. But he looks awesome. The, f the face, they started doing these digital face printing technology on the three and three quarter inch figures. And good Lord, they, they look freaking awesome. They look great. Um, they actually redid a couple of the uh, figures that they did like the Hoth Han, uh, Jedi Luke, and they redid the faces and it's awesome. Just awesome. So there you go. I got that one right there. And then I got this one actually from one of my favorite stores in the entire freaking universe, Comics to Games. I have not seen this figure like anywhere. I don't know if this is an exclusive. I don't know if this was like an exclusive to hobby stores. I don't know. So if you know what the deal is with this 
Uh, it's a 41st Elite. This was one of the uh, troopers that was on, I think it was on Coruscant in Revenge of the Sith when they were uh, rallying the troops, getting ready to go to Kashyyyk. Yoda was with these dudes on Coruscant, but it's they've got the gray tones. They look great. Um, but I got this one comics to games. It was like 12 bucks there. So I think they had one or two more left. I don't know if they still do, but I'm glad I got one. So those are my two three and three quarter inch vintage collection figures. Before we get to Batman right here, I got this Jabba's Palace playset. It's a vintage collection. Look at the box. Oh, this is so freaking cool. I love it. So basically, you get a portion of Jabba's Palace, basically like where he kept his uh, frozen Han. And then you get a couple heads there. And then you get, this was like the, the thing that's, I think, selling it for a lot of collectors right here is you get a carded Reese and a carded Han and Carbonite. And then, last but not least, I got a new Hot Toys figure. So this is the Justice League Batman. We have a new Batman. They announced good old Robert Pattinson. I don't mind it. I, he's a good actor. I never saw the Twilight movies, so it's like I can't hate the guy because I never saw him glow or whatever people are saying, twinkle. <laughs> and the dude can act, so... Uh, can he get big? Can he get menacing? Can he get intimidating looking uh, to be Batman? We'll find out, I guess. I know Matt Reeves is a good director. I like the Planet of the Apes movie, so I guess we'll find out. But this is Affleck. This is Justice League. This is the tactical suit. Ben Affleck, Justice League, Batman. I'm going to show you this one out of box in the next segment. And then after that, I'm going to do a little quick tour to show you how freaking disastrous this area is. And then after that, I'm going to do some uh, P.O. Box pickup openings. And then the Ma Box, the Ma Party Box uh, at the end. So let me go ahead and get this sucker open, and I'll be right back. All right, here we go. So I unboxed this Justice League Hot Toys Batman. And he is freaking awesome. He is very, very cool. Obviously, if you didn't like Justice League, then this probably wouldn't be the figure for you. But uh, I liked it. I like DC, EU movies. I've liked them all. I've liked Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad is a huge guilty pleasure of mine. I really like it. Um, sometimes you don't need to think when you're watching a movie. Sometimes you just need to take it in and enjoy it for what it is. But here is Affleck, Batman, wearing his little goggles, his sunglasses there. Uh, but let me show you this thing up close. Um, so you can switch out these facial expressions here. I have this kind of snarling one right now. You can also take these goggles off and just show his eyes. And then you could take these goggles off and replace them with goggles that just kind of sit right here. So let me show you those additional parts first. Uh, so those are the additional mouth expressions that you can swap out. They're just little magnets on the back and you just, you know, pull them off and put them back on. So there's one kind of showing the teeth. And then there's one just uh, mouth closed. And then here is the extra set of goggles uh, that you can wear on his uh, the top of his uh, mask here. Again, they just kind of sit like right up there. Um, I rewatched Justice League and he mostly wears these when he is driving the Batmobile uh, at the end of the movie. I think he takes them off when he gets out and he's uh, fighting parademons. Um, so... These right here, these little pieces right here were actually in there, right there, and I took them out uh, so that this could slide in. So this basically just kind of like pegs in. I like the way this looks though. I think this looks really cool. It looks different, and that's why I like it. But a very, very nice cape. Let me show you the some of the texture on the cape. Right there, look at that. Very cool looking, and then it's like really thick right here to kind of have it drape well. You can see how like kind of heavy it is right there because this material is, is very thick. It's like, it feels like it's thicker than the rest of the cape here. But uh, it folds over and then you can unfold it and just kind of have it over his shoulder like that. I like this look though. Uh, it comes with quite a base. This is a kind of a tall base, but it says Justice League there and my light is shining on it so you can't, oh there it is. Batman tactical bat suit right there, but you could see how high off 
the base is from the, uh, the nerd bar here. But I will tell you, it does fit into a detolf just fine. It uh, fits into a detolf shelf. He doesn't hit his head on the, uh, the bottom of the, uh, the shelf above it. Uh, so he fits pretty good. But let me just show you the rest of the detail on this thing. I have mine currently displayed holding a battering. Basically, I unboxed this thing to show you this on a video and I'm gonna rebox it and put it in a big box for the move. There's his gauntlets. I like the gold paint on the gauntlets. They look really, really good. Um, just look, uh, they look like they have wear on them. They don't look brand new and shiny. His gloves, same thing. Look like he's punched a couple things with those gloves. There's the grapple gun. Looking really cool. And then uh, here's the uh, armor and the legs. These pieces right here, these can move. Um, it's like a kind of a harder plastic. And there's the boots and shin guards. And then the rest of the accessories, uh, extra hands, open hands, another hand to hold, um, I guess the, the grapple gun with his right hand if you want. Fisted hands, uh, these little grenade bombs. I think he comes with a few of those. I only took one out to show you that one. And then he comes with, um, uh, I forgot what that one's called. Is that the grappling hook or grapple gun? I don't know. I don't remember names of things. And then he also comes with these two eye expressions. So this one, kind of wider eyes. And then one of these is like looking off to the side. Yeah, this one. Kind of looking off to the side here. If you get tired of how he looks, just change it up. Take the glasses off, change the mouth, change the eyes, change the cape, the way it drapes, change the accessories. A lot of changes, a lot of options. I like that in a Hot Toys figure, but he's pretty badass. I like him. I would recommend him if you like Batman, if you like Ben Affleck Batman, if you want a way to remember the Justice League, if you want a way to remember Ben Affleck as Batman, even though he was only Batman for like, what, three movies? Two and a half movies. He only had a cameo in Suicide Squad, but I liked him as Batman. I thought he was a great Batman. But there you go. That is the Justice League Hot Toys Batman unboxed. Hope you enjoy this quick little showcase. Now, I'm not even going to cut. I'm just going to keep going and show you what this freaking place looks like now. Uh, but I got boxes out. There's boxes out. There's empty detolfs. Most of my hot toys uh, I've already packed up. I packed them up in their boxes and then put them in a bigger box like this right here. So I think I posted a picture on Instagram and Facebook. But this is, uh, this is a bunch of hot toys in here. This is one, two, three, four, five, th three, six. I think these are three deep or two deep, three, six, nine. So there's like 15, 14 hot toys in this box. It's a big box. But uh, yeah, it makes me kind of sad. It makes me sad that I'm packing these up because I freaking, I love this house. I love this, this area, this man cave that I've had. Um, there's another empty detolf. Hopefully I'm not making you guys sad by showing you this. But this is kind of cool here. So I've been packing stuff up in these, in these right here. So here's some carded stuff that I still have. Some Transformers, a little NXT, um, Undisputed Era right there, uh, Mezco Blade. I got a Cobra Rattler, 25th anniversary. There's a, someone uh, sent me this one right here. That's a custom card Gree. Uh, what else do we got in here? We've got some more ships. So I got a TIE Fighter. I got a uh, Tomahawk or Eagle Hawk. They renamed it. And then I got some uh, Masters, some uh, Filmation Masters right there. There's Skeletor. But that's how I've been kind of packing stuff up. Uh, keeping stuff in, oh, that one's already broken. Keeping stuff in totes because I think that if I put it in totes, it has less of a chance of getting damaged by movers. Uh, hopefully they're gentle with my stuff. Um, but yeah, this is what, it's like a disaster area right now. Just a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. I've been getting back into cards. There's a lot of hockey cards right there I've been sorting. What else can I show you? Just stuff. Stuff everywhere. And then... So here is what the uh, the Marvel detail uh, looks like right now. So pretty empty. I've been consolidating, so there's like a couple Star Wars in here um, that I just put in here to kind of put everything in the same place because there's some empty boxes that I'm packing stuff up 
in. So there you go. Still gonna pack him up. This is the one that worries me the most because there's so many intricate, gentle, freaking breakable parts. But, uh, and then there's Heath Ledger, Joker, down off the wall. And then there's some pack top toys right there. I'm kind of getting sad doing this. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting a little sad doing this right now. But uh, let me show you in here as well. Um, yeah, these have been cleared off. I still have to put these in a box. These are my NECA turtles. But yeah, this is like, they're empty. They are freaking empty. Uh, all my masks I have to put back in the original boxes and then find a nice big sturdy box or tote to put those in. There's some stuff that I still have to pack. Here's some stuff I still have to pack. I still have to pack my Boulder Hill. There's Grayskull. I'll still haven't opened that one. There's a bunch of boxes. And there's some Star Wars figures. I still have to work on this area. So I have to bag up all those Star Wars and put them in a plastic container. But uh, I don't know. I just wanted to show you. You guys have kind of been with me in this area. You've seen it. In its heyday and its glory with all these things displayed now you see it kind of uh, in a state of distress but there you go that's what the nerd bar currently looks like uh, next time you see it it'll probably be a lot cleaner boxes put away a lot more empty but uh, I'll definitely show you some more stuff from the nerd bar when I pick up those hot toys but let me get to these right now. These are some uh, P.O. Box pickups. And then there's my Ma Box right there. I'm going to save that one for the last. So let me go ahead and situate my camera and then we'll open these up. All right, so I got two packages here. Uh, this one's for Spencer Hart, so let me go ahead and open this one. Uh, I got these a few weeks ago. I know one of these was for my birthday. I haven't looked in here yet. There is a letter. <laughs> Holy frickin' moly. This is a long letter, Spencer. Uh, it says, hey, Cincy, just want to say thank you for all of your awesome videos. You, Pence, the Essos Hunters, and several others inspired me to start collecting legends and various other figures, including Mezco Kane, LOL. Mezco Kane. Uh, I'm hoping to one day have my very own version of the Nerd Bar one day when I'm finished with school and finally doing what I want to do, which is nursing. Um, and that's an admirable profession. Anytime you can help other people, that is amazing. Um, I personally think that my profession is kind of worthless. <laughs> I make videos, it's video production. I make like videos and I just think, you know what? I could be doing a lot better things helping people. Um, anyway, the items I've sent you were actually given to me by Joe Ryan, fellow Syndicate Pensepeg Nerd Bar member, uh, Joe Rhino. He is an awesome guy with a truly inspiring story. He ended up hooking me up with a ton of stuff about a year ago and his generosity inspired me to send these to you. The entire toy community has been so awesome and generous. I was actually inspired by you after watching a video of yours to pay it forward and sent someone an Iron Spider Marvel Legend last year. That's very nice of you. Um, anyway, now that I've taken up a metric ass ton of your time, <laughs> That's awesome, dude. I wanted to wish Mrs. Cincy, Tay Tay, P Dog, and yourself a safe and successful move. Thank you very much. Uh, keep the videos coming. With love from all of your YouTube fans, Spencer Hart. P.S. Thumbnail. Say this more often. Ah, so that's what he wrote right there. Long letter. Great stuff. Thank you, Spencer. That was amazing. Uh, there's a couple things in here, it feels like. So I'm going to pull this one out first. And this is. Kokomo! So there's a little advertisement for Kokomo, which is a great store, which I love, which I'm going to miss being uh, not too far away from, but I'm going to be far away from it. And then here is the item inside. What's this? Cards! So freaking awesome! So you saw my table over there. I'm getting into cards again. Uh, hockey cards and Star Wars cards, like the older Star Wars cards. I think my favorite purchase from Celebration was buying those old uh, movie Star Wars cards. Uh, the movie trading cards from the actual original Empire Strikes Back. So these are freaking cool. So these are, let's see what's in here. Star Wars card. There's a sand crawler. 
So I'm just gonna flippy flip through these. There's Jabba, there's CGI Jabba. Looking terrible. <laughs> they did a bad job. <laughs> they did a bad job with that uh, CGI right there. Um, but very, very cool. Oh, I love that shot. That is glorious right there. I want like a freaking huge, huge poster, framed poster of that right there. That would be amazing. And then there's some Y wings. These are awesome, dude. I love these. And look, there's Winky Wink, Winky McWinkerson, Solo. Um, these are cool, dude. Thank you for sending me these. These are badass. I'm gonna put these, I started actual an actual binder of, uh, there's Hoth Pilot Luke. Very expensive sideshow figure, by the way. I, I started a, um, what do you call it? A binder of Star Wars trading cards. Oh, that's a good shot. That is glorious right there. Oh, that's badass right there. Um, so thank you very, very much, Spencer. These are amazing. I'm going to put these in my binder. These are very, very cool. I appreciate the gift. I appreciate you thinking about me. And uh, it goes on from to Jedi. There's some Jedi. There's Luke. That's a great shot right there with squid head in the background. Awesome. So thank you, Spencer. These are fantastic. You didn't have to send me anything. I truly, truly appreciate it, though. And uh, these will be admired and stared at in my binder. Uh, this one right here is from William Smith. This is, uh, he told me he was sending me a birthday gift, so I'm not sure what's in here. Let me go ahead and, it's a birthday card enclosed inside. Here's the birthday card that William sent me. It says, happy birthday to someone who's simply amazing. You're a lot of wonderful things to a lot of people, especially me. So, William, this is awesome. I love it. This is, uh, I still have my birthday cards, even though my birthday was like 26 days ago, 27 days ago. It's now 1225 in the morning. So I'm going to put this uh, with the rest of my birthday cards. Awesome stuff. Thank you, William. I appreciate it. And then uh, here's a bunch of comic books that um, William sent me. All right, so here are the comics that William sent me. So we've got, very, very cool. So the Venom movie, which I really enjoyed, is actually slightly, I think, slightly based on this miniseries, Lethal Protector. So there's Venom number one. Lethal Protector. He sent me the whole damn set. So... <laughs> So there's Venom Lethal Protector Part 2, Lethal Protector Part 3, Part Quattro right there. Oh, very, very cool. I never picked these up. Um, I was huge in a Spider-Man when these were out, but I never got this miniseries. So this is fantastic. I can finally read it. So here is number 5 with Venom and Spidey. That's a great cover, by the way. And then here is issue number six, right there. And then there's bonus comic. This right here is X-Men, Uncanny X-Men 334. That looks like Joe Moderera art. I was a big fan of his. And the Unstoppable Return of Juggernaut. So there's Jean Grey. I really wish they would redo this uh, Marvel Legends figure of Jean Grey. They really need to redo that figure because they've... They've done a lot of like the 90s X-Men, like newer versions. They need to do that gene again. Maybe we'll get it. I don't know. Hopefully. It'll probably be like a Walmart ex or Walgreens exclusive. But uh, that's pretty awesome. So you guys freaking rock. Thank you, Spencer. Thank you, William. These are amazing. Awesome gifts. But now it's time to open this box here. So for those of you that are aware, there is a movie that comes out in one day comes out uh, on Friday, the 31st, which hopefully I'll have this video edited and up by. But it is called Ma. It appears to be a suspenseful thriller, possibly horror movie. Uh, it's a Blumhouse movie, and they make awesome, very, very good horror movies. But I got this, it's called a party box. Let me show you this thing. So here is the box. And uh, as you can see here, there was a little message written here. It says, Welcome to Maz, you sexy beast. Mrs. Cincy grabbed this off the front porch and was like, What in the hell is this? So I told her, explained to her, that this is from Ma, the title character of the feature film that is about to come out. So let me go ahead and open this up, see what's inside. This is awesome. I'll be right back.
All right, so the box is open. I'm uh, kind of scared to look what's inside since the packaging is kind of meta because it actually came from Ma. The, uh, the return address was from Ma. Put this right here. Hopefully there's not like a, a severed head in here. <laughs> all right, so we've got... All right, so there is... What the frick? All right, so it is it is a bedazzled hat, and it says it says sexy, and it's got blood on it. That is freaking amazing. And if I don't put this on, <laughs> put this on right now, and use this as my thumbnail, then there's something inherently. Man, this isn't even gonna fit my big ass head. Oh my god, that's a tight fit. <laughs> There you go. And then the, <laughs> the other thing that's, all right, so there is a, there's a letter. Oh, this is like cutting off the circulation <laughs> in my head. Uh, there's a ping pong ball and then there's some, some cups, some uh, cups to play some beer pong. So that's cool. Uh, and it is a letter, so let me read this before I pass out. <laughs> <laughs> this tight ass hat on my head. It says Ma in theaters May 31st Blumhouse and Universal Pictures are proud to present their new horror thriller Ma starring Oscar winner Octavia Spencer. We're excited to deliver you our film exclusive Ma party pack for you and your audience to enjoy. Please check your email from us for a Ma gifts pack. Sweet. I get some Ma gifts. Some gifs however you pronounce it, and other fun content from this film. Man, this is tight on my head. I like, I think the blood is just like stopping right there. I'm, I'm, there's lack of oxygen going to my brain right now. Please use uh, hashtag mom movie and share your pack picks on social. So not only am I gonna share my pack picks, this is gonna be my freaking thumbnail. Oscar winner Octavia Spencer stars as Sue Ann, a loner who keeps to herself in her quiet Ohio town. One day she is asked by Maggie, a new teenager in town, to buy some booze for her and her friends. Booyah! I'm drinking some, if you couldn't tell. Uh, and Sue Ann sees the chance to make some unsuspecting, if younger, friends of her own. But as Ma's hospitality starts to curdle into obsession, what began as a teenage dream turns into a terrorizing nightmare, and Ma's place goes from the best place in town to the worst place on earth. Bam. So there you go. But thanks for joining me for one of my final videos at the Nerd Bar. I didn't uh, think when I started filming this that I would be wearing a bedazzled hat by the end of it. Uh, but hey, it's all about having fun. This nerd bar has been nothing but fun for six years. Uh, I know that I'm gonna have a nice space down in Texas and I can't wait to film videos down there and uh, do more of this. So hopefully you like this video. If you did like it, please give a thumbs up. I absolutely appreciate that. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully I can score some badass freaking hot toys in the next few days if I don't pass out from this extremely tight hat. But that's it for now. Adios, and I'll see you guys in the next one.